Ladies and gentlemen, I am the motivational supercharger of the 21st century, Kevin T. Robertson, America's leading focus expert and the proud host of the Kevin T. Robertson Show. I am in Forestville, Maryland at Bishop McNamara High School to cover the Grassroots Youth Football League. NFL players are here to teach kids how to take their skills to a whole nother level. Ladies and gentlemen, we only do big things, and it all goes down right here on the Kevin T. Robinson Show, where we are bringing the world into focus. I am here with James Brown. He is the vice president of the Grassroots Youth Football League. James, what's going on with you today, man? All right. My man, JB. My man, JB. Hey, listen, man. You know, you played 12 years in the league. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, you play all those years in the league and all that valuable experience that you have for these young kids. What is the goal of the Grassroots Youth Football League for these young people? The goal of the league is to uh, bring um, excitement and bring notoriety to these youth league uh, football uh, players. Um, and we want to bring them, we, we want to show them how to play the game the right way. We want to show them that um, we care. Um, but, on, uh, but more importantly, we want to show them how to be young men through the game of football. We want to show them how to be responsible, how to work hard, and how to um, be accountable for the things they do in the classroom, at home, and as well as on the field. The one and only nine-year NFL veteran, Lamont Jordan. Lamont, what's going on, sir? Hello, sir. Hey, man. Good. Right. G great to have you on the show, man. What brings you out to support the Grassroot Youth Football League? Well, you know what, man? I'm, I'm home right now. And, and a buddy of mine told me that they had this going on. I, I'm, I'm big on doing community work. And I wanted to come out here and show my support. Got a chance to go out there and uh, coach the kids a little bit. Got an opportunity to uh, talk to the kids. And uh, when, the, when, all, when it's all said and done, I've always, always had a passion for kids and working with kids. And this just gives me another opportunity to come get hands on with and, and, and help them not just grow and develop as athletes, but to grow and develop as men. Come on, you had some great words for the kids when you were speaking to them. You talked to them about attitude. How did attitude help you so much with overcoming adversities when you grew up in Prince George's County to propel you to the NFL level? Well, I think first and foremost, I learned that at a very young age that this world owes me absolutely nothing. I had a lot of passions. You know, growing up, it was football, there was wrestling, there was I was exposed to so much with all the different sports that I played. Mm -hmm. uh, I realized and I saw a lot of guys who had a lot more, who had more talent than I had, but they, I was able to move forward for the simple fact that they just didn't have the proper attitudes, and wow. that goes everywhere. Whether it's a job, you could be you could be fighting for the same position at a job. Mm -hmm. You could be equally or more qualified than that person that has that, that you're fighting for that same job for. But if your attitude is not good, then you won't get that job. And so, if we can teach our kids that and get them to understand that attitude is, is is very important to your success, then I think that'll go a long way. Here with my man Mike Anderson, Mike. What's going on with you, man? Man, I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm just so humbled right now, uh, Kevin, to have this experience today. When you first told me about it years ago, you know, the vision has been snowballing. And it was times, Mike, you know, when we were talking on the phone, man, when we have some of those rough days as human beings. Don't lose focus. Hey, I was telling you, don't lose focus, because it was some days when it looked like it wasn't going to happen. But I kept telling you just, just to keep hanging in there and just keep your focus. And I'm so glad that you and JB, you know, had the wherewithal just to keep moving forward. How have you done it from overcoming and battling leukemia to fighting everything you fought in the sports and business world to where you are right now? How do you do it? I say it has to be God, man. Mm -hmm. It's my belief and it's my faith. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had, I, I mean, and, and, and not just everything happening from a metaphysical standpoint, but I just believe God puts certain people in your life, you know, for, for the right time. And so I've been blessed my whole life to have some wonderful people in my life, from my mother to my dad to my father to every coach that I've ever had, the network of, of former successful student athletes like ourselves together. Resources. Strong African-American mm -hmm. males, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, to come get into these kids' lives, and it just started snowballing. It's been a, it's been a rough three years, though, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's been difficult, but, yeah, but you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. Stay focused on your goals and dreams, ladies and gentlemen. I am the motivational supercharger of the 21st century. Kevin T. Robinson, America's leading focus expert. And I love